Hey everybody, today is new laser day. So that was a pain, but I finally got it off the pallet and onto the floor. Though I have to admit, when I bought this, I was under the impression that it was like the size of a counter. So like the top would be at working height, but it's a little bit low. This is gonna need to go on a table of some sort, though I have no idea how I'm gonna get it onto a table. That's future me's problem. I just got back from the hardware store. I picked up some metal racking that I'm gonna use to make a table for the laser. Now I could have just built a table for this like I've done, you know, a dozen times in here lately with different workbenches and stuff but I wanted something that looked nice and I didn't really feel like building the table. So I got this pallet racking and I think if I put it on its side, maybe do a little bit of reinforcing, it should be a really nice way to go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a laser theoretically. It moves. I haven't tried, tried cutting anything yet. I see there's a Y, and then we even have a Z axis, which isn't exactly fast. It's basically just for focusing. Aha, the laser is now armed. So now let's put my cardboard underneath it. And now we can do a pulse. Okay, okay. But that is a clear hole and smell of smoke. I can see straight through that hole. All right, lasers, lasers working. All right, let's see if we can run a circle. That's our design, it's circle, start. It beat, does that mean it's done? There's a picture of my file. Holy cow, there's a circle. That was fast. Did it go all the way through? No, but I just used whatever settings it had there. So I'm gonna leave the power the same and slow it down by half and then I guess run it. You legitimately cannot tell the laser is running. I really need to get that paper off. Okay, it's beeping and we have a circle. Does the circle come out? No, still not through all the way. Again, not the laser's problem. I'm just playing with settings that I don't know anything about. Okay, now we can watch it cut. Let's hit go. It's going a lot slower this time. All right, did we cut all the way through this time? Still no? I feel like it should be cutting through half as fast or twice as slow. Hmm, still not quite making it through. Okay, it should de have definitely made it through on those power settings, so I think I need to align the, the mirrors. The laser is realigned and I got that cut to work. So now, now let's do something useful. I have those Kanbans that I've had unlabeled forever. Let's label one of them. Starting off, I'm gonna mark the bottom of the box. Later, I'll flip it and mark the inside. So let's do our autofocus. Get this about where I think it should go. And we're engraving. I probably could have gone faster. It's actually a pretty deep engraving, but it's not darkened, like it's not black. But like, I mean, it's it's noticeable. Like it's it's deep, it's at least 10 thou deep, probably more. Uh, so that'll do. Now we get to play the game of trying to do it on the bottom of this box. Hopefully without crashing anything. Well, I have two labeled Kanbans and I guess that wraps up the initial setup of the laser. Now I still need to get the exhaust installed and put through my wall, but I'm gonna tap my dad's skills for that just cause he'll do such a neater job of it than I will. I'm also going to put a big booster fan in that like ducting line just to make sure that it, the exhaust system is really good because I don't want, you know, smoke or plastic fumes in here. I want them all outside. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.